Hey everyone, welcome to Spot Check, the weekly video update series for The Greatest Unreality, a dissertation about Dungeons and Dragons. I'm Nick Miser. I wanted to start filming these now rather than waiting till the end of the project just to give people a sense of the sort of things I think about when I look at D&D &D and to give you a sense of what you might be getting into if you're considering backing the project. On that note, I should say thank you sincerely, thank you so much to everyone who's contributed. Share a link, talk to your friends about it. Um, it's been truly humbling to see the response the, that people have and the enthusiasm that people share for this kind of research. Uh, as of the time that I'm filming this, we're looking at a little over $2,000 that we've put together so far in pledges, and I'm really excited about that. Things are looking good through this first week, and we've still got a long ways to go, but I've been very happy with what I've seen so far, and thank you again to everyone, sincerely. I want to also tell you a little bit about the plushies that my wife likes to make, just to show you some examples of the sort of thing that she makes, like this Jake the Dog figure here, Lumpy Space Princess, Marceline the Vampire Queen. It's not all Adventure Time stuff that we have in the house, though. Got the Wild Thing, and Coraline from the Neil Gaiman novel and movie. So that's the kind of thing that we're talking about when I say that she has offered to crochet some things, and we have a couple backers uh, at the $250 level, so that is what you, the sort of thing that you're going to get to see. So the first topic I want to cover on Spot Check is the idea of story and what I mean when I talk about story in Dungeons and Dragons. I'm not actually going to get to talk about D&D today because first I want to talk about how narrative works in our everyday lives and how we use traditional story forms like movies and television and books to assist us in making stories out of our everyday lives. The first thing to note is that humans love to tell stories. We narrativize everything. We're always making stories out of our lives, out of history, out of everything around us, because that is how we make meaning in the world. We make sense of reality around us. These can be really big stories. And I don't, by story, I don't mean to uh, imply truth or falsehood, just the form that we tell it in. So you can have big stories, like the stories of religion, of founding of nations, and you can have little stories, like what happened to me when I went to the grocery store last week. But we use all of these stories and they, we weave them together to make sense of our lives. But there's a difficulty in everyday life, and that's that everyday life often seems to obscure or hide the, the mythic dimensions of our life. By mythic, I just mean that sense of thinking about our lives in terms of greater significances and meaning, not necessarily thinking about things like uh, Zeus or classical mythology that you might be familiar with. But when anthropologists talk about myth, we mean just stories that are really, really important to people and give meaning to their lives. Everyday life often seems to resist or obscure the mythic because well, for lots of reasons. There are all of these contingent, mundane details that don't fit into our conception of the story that we feel that we're a part of. Things that are outside of our control. Chains of cause and effect that we can't disentangle. Uh, there's no beginning and end to the story that we find ourselves in because when we come into the world, the story has already been going on and goes back in a chain of cause and effect to before we can even uh, understand or or experience and it continues on after we die we see other people die and and, the, and stories that they are a part of continue to go on so in some ways the most unrealistic part of a story that you read in a book is that it has a beginning and an end because that framing mechanism is what what sets it apart as a story as opposed to everyday life so everyday life resists the mythic we have problems with completing that narrativizing impulse that we find inside of ourselves. And there are all sorts of stories that we can't make sense of. So this is where story as we usually understand it comes in, in a book or a movie. When we, when we make a story, an author or a filmmaker, they, are, they have complete control over everything, over the chains of cause and effect, over what mundane things are going to happen or not happen to the characters. And so that 
often what, what happens in a story is that a lot of those mundane details that we have to deal with in our daily lives are cleared out. The, like, an, like the underbrush is removed so that we can see the, the mythic structure that lies underneath people's lives. And this seems like a good thing for a few reasons. First of all, it feels good to be able to complete that impulse that we find in our daily lives in a really satisfying way where everything ties together and makes sense in a way that we don't experience in our everyday lives. Second, it can serve as sort of an exercise in training us how to find those mythic dimensions in our lives. By seeing lives over and over represented to us in stories, we can learn to see patterns that we then apply in our own narrativizing efforts for our everyday lives. So this seems like a really good and useful thing that humans have developed. There's a problem though, and that's that stories can often do as much harm as good. And so that's what I'm going to pick up with next week, thinking about some of the problems that result from our drawing on stories to think about our everyday lives, and then thinking about how gaming relates to all those concepts. I appreciate you sitting and listening to all this. If you have any questions or something that you'd like me to talk about on Spot Check or answer questions on the Kickstarter, then please don't hesitate to contact me on the Kickstarter or in the comments for this video. Thanks.